this your boy Atlantic City and this time we're taking a look at no oh no you go ahead you try to say this motherfuckers name let's get into his footage is they still come knocking does your boss know that you are online chatting with the See, I'm world? sure they don't How about this? but they will in this one a director at a computer software company is playing hooky from work so he can meet a 13 year old home alone <laughs> that fucking hand thing that fucking oddly shaking hand gesture what the fuck year old home alone <laughs> oh you stop oh stop it uh oh I did stop it I actually clicked stop that's odd. Is they still come knocking? Does your boss know that you are online chatting with the See, I'm world? sure they don't. How about in just a second? And this one, a director at a computer oh, software company, is playing hooky from work so he can meet a 13 year old. Here it comes. Old home alone. <laughs> Sit down, make yourself at home. Sure. Thank you. I'm just getting these out so I don't get wrinkled. All right. He seems so friendly and polite, that manager at a software company, but his online chat tells a different story. You know, sex with a minor is called rape. Right, I understand. When To Catch a Predator continues. Have you ever chatted with an underage girl online? No, I have no doubt. That's going to be our 1.30. Wow. I mean, he'd be way early if that's him. One thing that's disturbing about our investigations is that so many who show up look like nice guys and you'd never suspect of possibly attempting to molest a child. Just like this man. Open the front door, Amanda. I wouldn't suspect him. I mean, some of these guys, most, you know, most of these guys look like they'd show up to meet children. But, I will be la brune, boss to him, doesn't look so. He appears to be a cuddly gentleman. Let's make sure he sees that you're there. He's 34-year-old Abalash Baskaran. A oh, that's how you say it. Director of software development for a large computer company. He thinks he's here to meet a 13-year-old girl. Hey. Come on in. Just fine. How are you? Come on. I'm just finishing up some laundry. Take it back. I made you some sweet tea if you want to pour it less. His no rock hard brownies. Screen name is Raj 21 US 21. While chatting online with a decoy pretending to be 13, he asks, "Hun, would you like to take me in your mouth?" The girl mm. says, "I'm not sure." Would you like to take me in your mouth? I'm gonna have to use that. How? So Raj 21 US 21 says, "We will learn as we go along." But just as they're about to sign off, he tells the decoy what he's doing is wrong. That he Bastard. has to be cautious. Cautious? Why? You know, sex with minor is called rape. You don't want to have sex with me? So I just want to make sure everything is okay. I don't want to see a cop waiting to see me there. <laughs> he seems relieved when he sees our de That's not exactly what you're gonna see. Decoy and not a police officer. <laughs> Sit down, make yourself at home. Sure, thank you. I'm just getting these out so I don't get wrinkled. All right. So you've got a big afternoon planned, huh? Uh, Why don't you have a seat right there, please? What's going on? Nothing much. I thought I'll just make a friend and that's it. Told just to make a friend. Make a friend and that's it. Huh. Why don't I believe that? Abilash. Yeah. And who is the friend you were here to see? Um, some, uh, Amy. Amy. Right. And, and how old is Amy? She said she was 13. 13? Yeah. And how old are you? 34. 34. Right. And why did you think it was okay at the age of 34 to come visit a 13-year-old girl home alone? I said, I mean, it is for sex I am not coming. For sex you are not coming? Yeah. So I'll just make a good friend. Um, so I'm educated. I have an MBA. You have an MBA? Yeah. You know, I'm married and, you know, the marriage is not going well, so... I'm sorry, you're married? Yeah, yes, I am. And, and the marriage is not... I think it would be safe to assume that he was married. I'm going well. Yeah, so I yeah, just wanted a friend to talk to, kind of. A friend to talk to? No friends of your own? No friends of your own age, perhaps? 
Abilash. You know, if you're going on the internet and you're going to try to chat up, which I can't seem to find the chat log. If you're gonna go chat up a underage girl, then I think it would also be safe to assume that your marriage is not going too well. But explain to me how difficulty in your marriage led you to this house where- Chris, I was wondering the same thing. Where you believed a 13-year-old girl was home alone. No, he said he's, you know, she's, she's, uh, uh, he was, she was, hmm. Good in studies and- Good in studies. And I thought it is like a mature friend, I mean, okay. A mature guess. friend? Yeah. Where were you when you were having this chat with this 13-year-old girl, Amy? Were you at I, your- I was in office. You were in your office? Yeah. Now, does your boss know that you are online chatting with 13-year-old girl? <laughs> Look at Chris's hands. What is up with the hands this time? Look at his hands. With the she, I'm girls? sure they don't. Uh -oh. year old girl, Check out those hands. Uh -huh. Check out them hands. I was in office. You were in your office? Yeah. Now, does your boss know that you are online chatting with 15-year-old girls? I'm sure they don't. So what would his bosses... Th I always wanted to talk with my hands, but every time I talk, I never seem to do it. My hands aren't that impressive. But, you know, I always admire people that talk with their hands because... I've always wanted to do it, but every time I'm talking, I never seem to do it. Think Talk if they read a transcript of his pornographic chat. online chat. You ask if she masturbates. Right. <clears throat> you say, I feel like kissing you. You know, it's not a funny situation, and when I laugh, I, I, you know, I don't, I don't think I've ever even made this clear, but sometimes when I laugh at shit like this, it's not, I'm not, you know, I'm laughing most of the time probably at least in this scenario I, I don't know I can't speak on every other situation that's done occurred there's been too many of them it's been too many of them for me to even remember but on this occasion I mean just to hear Chris say masturbate out loud that firm tone firm but fair voice of his hearing him say those type of things is you know it it releases a giggle from within. No. And suck on your blank and feel... Well, not exactly a giggle. It's more of a noise that I make. The tummy. Right. Um, that is the first day. Then I, you know, slept on that and realized it is not a good thing. I mean, you know, it is it's not something which I should do. Well, why even come over here? No, I mean, it's, you know, it was like working for one year. I thought, just thought I would just take a day off. And, uh, so you took a day off to come over here? Yeah. It seems like Abilash is starting to get a little bit more worried. It seems like he's starting to realize he's fucked. Like, I don't know, maybe within the first few sentences that he said, he might have thought he was going to be able to slip on out of this. But I think as the conversation kept going, Abilash started to realize that he was fucked. And he, he starts to be visibly worried, visibly. And just look at this man's eyes, I think. That's what I suspect. It's all speculation. So you told him you had something else to do. Oh, uh, who? The people at your office. Yeah, yes. Oh. I love you so much, hon. You talk about being cautious. I know. She says, why? You say, you know, sex with a minor is called rape. Right. I understand. I'm so you know the law. Yeah, I understand the law. Well, Abby, there's a, there's a couple things you need to know. Yeah. I'm Chris Hansen with Dateline NBC. We're doing a story on adults who meet teens online. Nothing else to say. Okay. Thank you. Since he's never seen one of our reports, he doesn't know that law enforcement is waiting outside to arrest him. Get on the ground. On the ground now. Get down. When he's taken in for questioning, he asks to speak to a lawyer. I'm a foreign national. Um, can I get an attorney or something? All right. What happens next, sir? Now you go to jail. Once at the jailhouse, he's fingerprinted and photographed. My wife and kids won't know where I am, so... Once at the jailhouse... We're gonna take that one. I don't know. Nah, we got a thumbnail. ...house, he's fingerprinted and photographed. My wife and kids won't know where I am, so... You can call and let them know. Actually, we don't. That's it now. Back with you on that in just a little bit. Then put behind bars, awaiting a hearing. Well, you're charged with criminal attempt child molestation. That's felony. Spoke too soon. Now it's that. Felony. It carries a penalty of one to twenty years. 
And that's it. That's all of our footage, apparently. Well, throughout this video, if you heard the keyboard clicks, I was actually trying to find Abilash Boscarin's chat log, but it seems to not be found. It seems to not be available or some shit. I don't know. But it brings me to his main perverted justice page, and the picture is not one of his, one that he sent, not one that he took while in prison. It's an actual photo from the show. I mean, the MSN, in the MSNBC logo is, you know, it's there. You can see it. It's chopped, but it's there. But when did it, what ended up happening to this bastard? Avilash was arrested as part of our sting in Harris County, Georgia, in the summer of 2006, which was filmed as part of an episode of To Catch a Predator. He was awaiting trial on charges of criminal attempt to commit child molestation when he fled, though he was expected to plead guilty, and he is now wanted on a charge of unlawful flight to avoid prosecution. He was last seen driving a dark gray Toyota Camry with the Georgia license plate 981 TPM. While it is possible that he has fled to his native country of India, if you know of his location, please contact the Harris County Georgia Sheriff's Office. Well, Harris County Sheriff's Office, I will do just that if I ever find this bastard. Can't seem to find his chat log. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep looking while I speak here for a second and then I'm gonna see if he got rearrested at any point. But anyway, Avilash. Yeah, I don't I don't I can't see his I can't seem to find his chat log, so Yeah, if you if you got his chat log, link it to me. I would appreciate it. But, uh, Abilash. Oh, no, no, I'm not becoming a butter person. Please, no. Don't let it happen. This is like the third fucking time. Abilash fled the country. Now, you could say maybe that's because he was, you know, he knew whatever. Maybe it's because he, you know, didn't want to be fucking known as a registered sex offender so he just fled he was went to hiding and if he's managed to escape all these years without being caught then you know there's some skill to that so I think you know no matter what crime it is if you've avoided crime this long you know my hat's to you you know fuck the system but it is what it is this motherfucker fled the country for some sort of reason or not the country or he, he at least avoided getting arrested I'm still trying to find this man's chat log so I'm a little all over the place because I got a couple more things on my mind yeah I can't find his chat log so just you know if you can find it let me know was this man attracted to children it's hard to say because I don't really have his chat log and I based on his interview it's really short and he seems like such a warm guy you just want to hug him maybe you want to squeeze him whilst you hug him but underneath you know he said his mar his marriage was going to shit or whatever I believe that but did that was that exactly what pushed him to to go in to someone underage or was that you know was his attraction to underage girls potential attraction did that lead to the demise of his marriage because he couldn't sexually please his wife because he was too focused on finding someone underage These are the things we ask. These are the things we wonder, most likely. At least, the things that I wonder. There's tons of different scenarios and things that could have took place that led up to this and led this man to the point where he showed up to To Catch a Predator to make an appearance on this amazing, phenomenal show 
that all of us seem to love so fucking much. You know, there's so many different things that could have happened to led to this man appearing on this show. And it's just me speculating. Well, it's all of us speculating. Anyone watching this, and I mean, you probably, you know what this is about. You're probably speculating, especially if you've gotten to this point. You know what the fuck's going on. You know, I mean, I don't, you know, you know, you know. I don't know. That's what I know. This man could have been conflicted with deep urges that have been brewing over the years. Or it could have been a desperation thing. And, I, you know, we don't really know. But my guess, and I don't want to bias my guess based on how cuddly and warm he seems. I mean, he showed up here. He showed up early. He seemed incredibly happy when he saw the girl that he thought he was going to get to do things with. Wrong again. So it's, it's you know, I feel like every time I do this or say some shit like this, I kind of cop out or some shit like at the end, like all leading up to this, like this motherfucker doesn't even know what to make of this asshole. I don't, you know, I don't. He He seems like a, just like the fucking show set itself. He seems like a a guy and like I said earlier in the video this is he does not look like a predator at all not one percent bit of look like a predator a lot of these guys most of these guys look like fucking predators this guy doesn't I mean I wouldn't expect him to show up if you said Abilash Boscarin this is not the man that I would expect to see if you just told me his name and didn't show me the photo yet on a photo CD burned by Dustin McFedrick then you know I wouldn't exactly picture this man I'd probably picture uh, well I, I probably wouldn't picture anybody I mean I, uh, that fucking name I, I couldn't focus on coming up with who to match a name I mean if, to, I couldn't even be able to begin to match a face to that name I'd still be trying to figure out how to pronounce it that was a bad analogy. But this isn't the guy that I'd expect to show up to to catch a predator. So I think in that, he's got to be somewhat truly troubled to, to show up to this. You know, what's the verdict? I don't know. What do you think about this man? Because I, I fully think it could be he just, his marriage was going to shit. He was... He was just, I don't think he just wanted a friend to talk to, but I think he, maybe his marriage pushed him to this. It could be that. That's not necessarily what I'm saying exactly, but I mean, there's so many different scenarios, like I said earlier. You know, I, was he, did, did he, was he found with child porn? You know, did they ever find this man's computer? These are the questions that I must ask, and these are the questions that I wonder to myself whether I ask them or not. Was this man going out of his way to find someone underage? Was there, you know, if, like I said in one of my most recent videos, if someone his own age had approached him in a chat room or had been available in his area and he approached them and they responded in a, the same manner that the decoy perhaps responded in, I'm not sure, I don't, I'm not able to find the chat log. But, you know, would he have went for that, you know? Or was he, he was like, no, 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 you're, you're my age. No, get away. You're stinky. Get away. You're my age. No, no, no. I don't, I don't know. I do not know. About this man. But I would say that whether he's had a, a lingering problem or a, you know, a, a long developing problem or this is just something that happened spur of the moment and pushed him over the edge to do this. This probably wasn't the end of it for him. He may still have a problem and he definitely did have a problem. A serious issue if he was going to show up to this house to begin with. And do whatever he 
show up to do whatever he may or may not have said in his chat log that I am not able to read. But yeah, I'm just repeating the same shit now at this point, it seems. Abby Lash. Abby Lash. What do you think about this man? What do you think this man was up to? Because I can't put my fingers on it. Yeah. I'm a little torn with this asshole. But I think he would have probably most definitely done something had the decoy been down to do it had it not been a decoy had it been an actual underage girl you know he doesn't take me as the kind of guy that would force himself upon her but he also doesn't take me as the kind of guy that would show up and have that sort of conversations to even fucking begin with so I can't rule out the possibility at all that he would have forced himself on her had it not been to catch a predator had it been an actual underage girl but that's all I'm gonna say why don't you let me know what you have to say down below let me know this your boy Atlantic City and I'm gonna catch you next time hey why don't you stop letting YouTube recommend videos for you to watch and let me recommend them because I know which videos don't suck check out the John Adam Daniels video right there or you could check out the Donna Morrison video or you could just not click any of them because it's years later and YouTube has already updated their shit and these things are no longer active. Or because you don't want to watch any more videos. You sat through this shit and you're like, man, fuck this guy. I'm unsubscribing.